everyone and welcome to the Week's Nest DIY. today's video, I have some fall hacks for you that are using Dollar Tree glassware as well as some serving trays. Now I recently did a video and this will be a part two to that glass hack video which will be in the description box below so make sure to check that out. Why hack number one is using this Dollar Tree bubble vase. They have this year round. For this project I used two of them and I spray painted them in Rust-Oleum's flat black spray paint which is one of my favorite spray paints. Now what I did for this was I went on Etsy, I used this same design file, I will have it linked down below the Etsy shop. I did the outline of Sally and Jack's face. I did an entire Nightmare Before Christmas video last year. I have another one coming up as well this year, so be on the lookout for that. Um, with this, since I used my Cricut, I made sure I made little slits in the transfer tape. That way it was easier to put on the rounded surface. Now, of course, if you do not have a Cricut, you can still recreate this with a um, paint pen that goes on glass. This is a pretty straightforward design and it's easily, rec um, not recreated, recreated. Um, you can also use some paint and you can even use a transfer design and then just trace that over as well. So lots of different options. Once I had both the designs on, I went ahead and added some of these LED candle lights. I did two per and I stacked these on top of each other, kind of like a pumpkin stack. And I think this looks really cute. I have this paired next to a candle I did in that original glassware hack video. These look cute day or night, so let me know what you think about these in the comments. If you are not already subscribed, I definitely invite you to do so. I upload two to three times a week, lots of budget-friendly DIY crafts and home decor. So you definitely don't want to miss out. And Make sure that bell is turned on so you are notified to all my uploads. Dollar Tree has an assortment of vases. I love this one as is, but I decided to pair it with this label I made, which will be in the description box below. And I just cut this out and printed it on some brown cardstock. And then I took some Dollar Tree twine, hot glued and attached it to that cardstock. And then I'm gonna wrap this around. Now I did spray paint this in a black color, but of course you can leave it as is. I think it's really pretty on its own. And that is it for this. This is a great way to get a subtle fall or Halloween look in your house using an item that is from Dollar Tree found year round. Um, and again, it just brings a subtle look to it. Now let me know in the comments. I have seen some awesome Halloween finds from Dollar Tree that are new this year online, but I cannot find them in stores. And a lot of my stores are kind of slow with bringing stuff out. Um, let me know if your stores are the same. I think this is a great option if you want to start Halloween crafting, but you don't have anything that's seasonal. This is a great way to get that look while keeping it subtle. Vase that they always have at Dollar Tree. I love the size of this one. Again, spray painted it in that black color that I love, the matte, bat, matte, bat, matte black. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna do a little makeshift um, spider web design. We're gonna add hot glue over this and then add some dry brushing to give it again a subtle look, having a kind of spider web to this. So I used the pencil, then I went ahead and just connected the webs with a pencil. This is just a great way to have an outline before you add your hot glue. Now keep in mind, you can also use a paint pen for this. I just think personally the pencil is definitely the way to go if you're doing it on a black surface like this especially. Even white, you can see it fine and you're not gonna see it through the hot glue and paint. Um, also with the hot glue, just take your time with it because hot glue, especially if you have an older glue gun, it will drip a little bit, but I feel like with the spider web, you can get away with that, but just keep that in mind. Does anyone else's hot glue gun look as janky as mine? I swear any hot glue gun I own, every side of it always looks like that. I have random feathers and yarn, but I guess it's just a very well-loved hot glue gun.
probably leave this as is. I think it actually looks pretty cool with just the hot glue on the spray painted vase. But I decided to take some white acrylic paint and I just went ahead and once the glue set, just dry brushed over it, kind of letting it fall where the hot glue already is. And I feel like it gives it a very subtle look. Once everything is dry, I added some of my favorite Amazon pompous grass to this, and I love the way that this turned out against the black. I have this paired with some recent bookends that I made in a recent video, which I will have linked down below. I absolutely love how they turned out, and I also paired this with some other vases I shared in some recent videos. Dollar Tree this year are some more of the porcelain painting options. I use these Sugar Skull porcelain pieces. I also got a different pair for this project. I spray painted it black and then again using some dry brushing I'm going to take some white. Gold would also look really nice. There's a lots of different grooves to this that you can paint over and it gives it a really nice look. Now this video is a glassware hack video but I feel like porcelain items whether they're decor or dinnerware also can apply. So the less paint the better for this. You kind of just want it to fall where all the grooves are. I did this to just kind of highlight how pretty the sugar skull is and then I use this as a nice decor piece. Again, I did bookends with the larger version of this. That tutorial will be down below in case you are interested. Tree always has these pillar candles. I love the black candle specifically because it immediately gave me Hocus Pocus vibes. I got this label image from Etsy. I can link the shop down below. Again, I printed it on that same brown cardstock. I feel like it definitely gives it more of a vintage kind of worn in look, which I was going for. White cardstock would also do just fine, but I think that the brown kind of gives it more warmth. So I just hot glued this on. I use hot glue a lot with cardstock. I find that with glass, regular glue stick just does not cut it. So I kind of had to play with this a little bit because obviously the candle is rounded. So I had to add a little more hot glue as I went, but this turned out really good. Again, I'm going for very like subtle, simple vibes for the season in this video. And I definitely feel like you can do that using a lot of the Dollar Tree glassware. Now, if you saw my community tab, I have a Hocus Pocus part Two, or part one really for this year. It's going to be a two-part video. Um, all new Hocus Pocus DIYs, so be on the lookout for that. I did a major compilation of my favorite and best Hocus Pocus DIYs not too long ago, so that will be in the description box below, and be on the lookout this week for part one of the new Hocus Pocus DIYs I have coming up. These Pottery Barn Stoneware Ghosts, and this is definitely something you can easily achieve when you go to the glassware food serving section at Dollar Tree. So I picked up a white bowl. I'm gonna do a jack-o'-lantern design instead of a ghost, um, but it's a similar concept. I used my Cricut for this, but if you don't have a Cricut, you can definitely use some paint that goes on glassware. You also can take some of the Dollar Tree vinyl, use something as a tracer, cut it out, and just apply it as stickers. So also Dollar Tree um, rub-on transfers would be a great option for this as well. But I thought this was a really cute Pottery Barn inspired candy bowl. I took some of the Reese's candy that Dollar Tree already has out in their seasonal section, although this is like a year round staple in my house. Like we love Reese's. Um, just a cute, really quick, subtle bowl that you can get that Pottery Barn look using Dollar Tree glassware. a Dollar Tree plate that can be found year round. We're going to do another Pottery Barn inspired project. This was one I shared not too long ago, which I will have that link down below. This time we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with a raven and this printable will be in the description box below. So for the raven, I just went ahead on some cardstock. I just flipped over some cardstock that I wasn't using. So it has a design in the back as you see here. Um, a little tip for just being budget friendly and resourceful. Save the cardstock. Even if you don't use it with what you printed, you can flip it over put it in your printer, print something new. Um, I'm gonna use some hot glue for this. Now on, Et not on Etsy, on Pinterest, there are so many different 
techniques that you can transfer on an image with Mod Podge. That was what I initially wanted to do. But as luck would have it, when I filmed this video, I could not find my Mod Podge anywhere. And I have two bottles of it. Now, I do film a lot at my dining room table, bring everything up, so it's very possible to get lost in the shuffle. Once I find it, I would like to try that technique out, share it with you all, but I think since this is decorative, the hot glue does just fine. I have this with my Edgar Allan Poe Funko Pop I got off Amazon. I can have that link down below as well, and I think this is just a fun, subtle piece of decor, again using a Dollar Tree plate. printable page you're going to find this skull and roses so I'm going to go ahead cut that out and I'm going to add it to this Dollar Tree glass votive holder they have this year round at Dollar Tree again I like using items in my seasonal decor that are not necessarily seasonal I know everyone's Dollar Tree the inventory is different and sometimes it can get really discouraging or even frustrating if you see some great tutorials but you can't find the items so I like to do a mix of both using seasonal and non-seasonal, but this is a great hack to get a seasonal look with a year-round item. And especially when it comes to Dollar Tree glassware, there are so many pieces that you can use as a staple in your year-round or seasonal decor, and you don't have to worry about if your Dollar Tree has the latest and greatest, because lately, my Dollar Trees definitely do not. So with this, I just took my time cutting it out. Again, I used some hot glue for this to add and then I used a Dollar Tree battery operated votive candle and there you go. Super quick and easy. Again, I love just that this is a subtle piece of decor and I have this on my bookshelf next to my Edgar Allan Poe little planter. Also has these longer LED tapered candles which are a great find. I added some of the year-round um, Dollar Tree candle holders that are glass. I spray painted these in black also. I had them styled with some vases with pompous grass in a recent video. And again, just a nice subtle piece of decor using candle holders, which most Dollar Trees always have. Party section always has some great kind of acrylic finds, so I'm going to lump them into this glassware video. For the first one, I'm using this large plastic tray. I spray painted it in black. Surprise, surprise. Found a really fun um, design, this like snake and moon design on Etsy, and I went ahead and added this as a decal with my Cricut. Now again, if you do not have a Cricut, um, you can even just find a, one of the many designs on Etsy, cut it out and Mod Podge it on. Um, because this is not going to be used for food, this is going to be used for decor, it doesn't matter if there's like Mod Podge or decals or spray paint on it. So you really can have a lot of fun. You can add this even as a piece of wall decor or use it as a tray. So lots of different options, but I think this is a fun way to use those Dollar Tree trays. Now Dollar Tree also has some smaller ones in that party section. So for this, I used an excerpt of The Raven from Edgar Allan Poe. If you are not new to my channel, um, I'm obsessed with Edgar Allan Poe, both in my year-round decor and my Halloween decor. Um, again, I just think it's kind of like that dark academia look. I love that. Um, so I thought, again, printing that out on the brown cardstock would be a fun touch to this. I like to kind of press it into the oval shape so I get a good tracer for me to cut out since this does have an oval shape on the tray. And then once I press that around twice and got a good base, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I always like to cut just outside of that tracer just so that it fits the tray and you don't really see any of the spray paint. So I took my time with this. I can leave this printable down below, but you can also do this for really anything you want. Song lyrics, you can do this to a, any quote or poem. Just print it out and just printing it on this darker cardstock definitely just gives it a more vintage vibe. So I'm going to glue this on and then I can leave this as is, but I really love the design around this. So some white acrylic paint just to highlight all of those grooves and that is it for this project. I really like the way that this turned out. Now, if you notice, I used hot glue for this instead of like a glue stick because I kind of wanted the hot glue on this thinner cardstock to show. It kind of makes it look wrinkled and it was going for a little bit more of a vintage look, but totally optional for you um, but I like the way that this turned out and honestly I'm probably going to keep this out year round. 
did a wood hack video where I did something very similar, but with Annabelle Lee, another poem favorite of mine from Edgar Allan Poe, that video will also be down below in case you are interested. Another option you can do is just add a decal. Um, my dad, one of his favorite movies is The Haunted Mansion. He loves Halloween decor for birthday gifts, so it recently was his birthday. I gave him this. I just spray painted the tray, added a decal. I can link down below the free font that I used um, on defont.com to get that really similar Haunted Mansion look, but this is another option for those Dollar Tree trays. Another Etsy design. I did this as a decal, but you can also do this as a printable. Taking the glass, and these are glass cutting boards, but I, I would kind of consider this more of a trivet. Um, I added this on. Now it's a little bit bigger than the trivet because I'm making it on a diagonal, but I'm gonna wrap the vinyl around once I take it off. But this would make a great housewarming gift, a great seasonal gift, and if you're not into this image, then you can do like traditional pumpkins, um, again, rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree would work great on this as well, but I thought this was really nice. I love black and white, especially this time of year, so that is why I incorporated it here, and I really like the way that this turned out. That does it for part two of these fall hacks using a Dollar Tree glassware. I shared over 10 designs with you, different ideas, so let me know what you think about these. Part one will be linked down below. And if you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.